let me tell you a story, the story of the kingdom of Zion. There once lived an ancient and mighty king. His rule was perfect in every way. He loved his subjects dearly and gave them everything that they could have ever asked for. He withheld nothing from them. In his kingdom, there was no such thing as pain, sadness, or fighting. Indeed, there has never been a more perfect or peaceful time. However, there was one who was not content. One of the king's most trusted servants, Lucifer, desired nothing more than to be the king and led a rebellion against the mighty king. But the uprising did not succeed. Instead of putting them to death, the king banished not only Lucifer, but all of those who followed him in his rebellion. Furthermore, he sentenced Lucifer to spend the rest of his life wandering the earth, awaiting his destruction. This would be the end of our story, had the king not decided to show mercy to those that would simply turn from their wicked ways and accept him as their lord and master. And so, he waits at his castle in the mighty kingdom of Zion with open arms for those that would return to him. Sir, may I have your attention for a moment? We're kind of in the middle of something. Christian, I have a message for you. Yeah? You have found favor with the great king of Zion, and he wishes for me to tell you of the fate that is to come to the city of destruction. Soon, the city will be destroyed, and he does not wish for you to suffer the same end. King? I've never heard of him before. Who is he? The king of Zion rules over all these lands. However, the inhabitants of this city rejected him long ago, and he has gone to the city of Zion, where he loves and protects all of its inhabitants. He wishes for you to come and join him in this city, where the reward is great. What should I do? You need to journey to the city of Zion. The road ahead is long and difficult, but persevere in the faith, and you shall be triumphant. The king awaits any who seek him with open arms, love, and forgiveness. If that's the king's will, then I'll go. Sounds great. I will go with thy. Leave now, for to stay is certain death. Let's get going. Christian heard what the preacher said, and he felt very guilty. Suddenly, he knew what he had to do. He had to repent of his evil, horrendously terrible cat-abusing ways and search for the king and kingdom of Zion. And so, Christian and Clyde of Dale eagerly set off on their journey to the holy kingdom, not knowing exactly what to expect or appreciating just exactly what they were getting themselves into. Man, I can't wait to get there. They had this king that is very, very wise. I know, it's going to be awesome! Oh yeah! Which way should we go? I think we ought to try this way. This way. Dead end. No, the journey's not even worth it. It's worth it. Come on, we gotta make it to the kingdom. Let's just go back. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
I, we don't need these in the kingdom with my pet rocks. Bye, Rocky. By Stonewall Jackson. And my most favorite. By Roxanne. You've been carrying these in your pocket this whole time? Yes. I don't even feel sorry for you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You've been leaving some circles. No, I haven't. How do you even know that? These are my pet rocks. I can't believe you. Oh, I don't think you want to do that, buddy. I I'm sure I do, pal. You don't know who you're messing with, amiga. Man, forget you. You've been leading us in circles. Well, you're the one whose job is to hit water with sticks. Man, forget you. I'm out. I, I don't even need you. Have fun your journey. I will. I missed you guys. Don't know where I'm going. We've been walking around these woods over and over. Clyde of Dale just left me. My cat's back at the city. <laughs> what do I do? <coughs> Mr. Lucky Boots, you came back. <coughs> no, Mr. Lucky Boots, come back. Oh, why? <coughs> I think I found your buddy back there. Mr. Lucky Boots. Yeah. That's what he told me. Uh, well, it looks like you're kind of upset. Um, yeah. Is there anything I can do to help? A lot. I'm trying to get to the kingdom, but I just don't know where I'm going. The kingdom? Which one? The kingdom of Zion. The kingdom of Zion? No way! I used to live there. Really? Yeah. I'll show you the way. It's right up ahead. You want, you, you want to come with me? Yeah, that'd be great. Well, <laughs> oh, come on, buddy. Thanks, pal. This day, turn around. Let's try it this way. So, what's your name? Uh, you don't need to know my name. Just call me Guy. All my friends call me Guy. Right, it's really okay. good to meet you. What's your name? Uh, I'm Christian. Oh, Christian. Terrific to meet you, buddy. Thanks. Likewise. That's a funny looking outfit you got there. Oh, uh, you, you like this? Yeah. It comes with a job, actually, you know? What kind of work you in? Uh, mainly just showing people around, lost travelers like yourselves. I, I try to show them the way. You know what I'm talking about? All right. Just uh, guiding light. Yeah. I'm a cat wrangler myself. A cat wrangler? Mm -hmm. No way. Yep. It's a good line of work. Definitely, definitely. Well, I'll tell you the secret to get into the kingdom. Yeah. Um, a lot of people try to find the really hard and narrow way. They think that laboring will help them get them there. No. I've lived there. That's not the. That's not what the king wants. The broad, easy route. Lots okay. of downhills. Okay. It's it's really nice, you know. Enjoy your ride. Enjoy the scenery. It's really pretty territory. Yeah. Um, yeah. The the broad way. Yeah. Um, well, I'll tell you what, buddy. It's been real good to meet you. Um, yeah. You take yeah. care. I, I've actually left somebody down Wait. there. I need to go see him. Um, just remember, broad. Okay. You're really all easy. Right? See you, buddy. Oh. Really, really great to talk to you. Oh. Bye, guy. Well, all right, that's a funny guy. Christian! My old friend, good to see you. How do you know my name? I've known you for a long, long time. Where are you headed? I'm going to the Kingdom of Zion. Really? That's awesome, but why are you headed this way? Well, I was walking around this forest and I was lost. I just met some guy and he told me that that was the right way. Really? Do you remember what his name was? I asked him, he just said his name was Guy. Guy. I think I've seen him before. Yeah. Um, there's a better way. 
You know, I've heard that it's written that wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many enter in by it. But narrow is the gate and straight is the way that leads to life. If you ever find it, are you looking for that narrow way? Yeah, I am. Could I help you along that way maybe? That'd be great. I'd like to encourage you to take a different path than where you're headed right now. There's a path here. It'll be fraught with peril. There will be many distractions, many obstacles along the way. But if you persevere, if you keep going, you don't let anyone stop you. Don't let anyone turn you to the right or to the left. You'll make it to the kingdom. Follow that path with all of your heart. All right, brother. Thank you. Safe journeys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Oh, and Christian, one more thing. Yeah? How do you feel about cats? I love them. So long, my friend. Thank you. And so, Christian once again set off on his journey. He had lost his companion, Clyde of Dale, and had been in danger of nearly losing himself. He had narrowly escaped being led astray by Lucifer, but was fortunately saved by the kind stranger in the woods and now found himself once again on the right path. He was glad to be rid of his cat wrangling duties, but was nervous about his long journey. He could not fully know all of the perils that lay ahead of him, but he took heart that the king and his glorious kingdom also lay ahead.